take a look at this first one. Let's look at number six. I'll blow it up. You guys looking at it with me? Mm -hmm. Well, a complex sentence uses a subordinating conjunction such as although, because, when, since, and while. So we're going to join two related thoughts. So listen, a subordinating conjunction comes at the beginning. It's subordinate. Like, look, although Jan, although Jana is good at sports, what if I just said that and ended it? Although Jana is good at sports, and then I just looked at you guys like this. Look, look at me. You got to look at me when I do this. Ready? Take those out. Although Jana is good at sports, um, would you be like, what? What? Ra, what? What? Yeah, you're doing it. You're like, okay. Okay. That is, listen, it's subordinate, right? It's subordinate. It's, 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 uh, we need something else, right? Right? So, we need the rest of the sentence there, right? It comes at the beginning of the sentence. We need a comma between the two thoughts, right? So, let's look at this example. It says, Jana could run faster than her older brother, right? I can't just put a period there, can I? No, we need to finish it. Comma. When she was eight years old, right? When Jana was eight years old, comma, she could run faster than her older brother, right? Mm -hmm. So let's read the sentence here. We're going to insert the comma if one is needed. Although Jana is good at sports, comma, she likes creating pottery better. Some people make pottery while they listen to music. I don't think we need one there. Right? Because although, if listen, if one of these comes at the beginning of the sentence, if although, because, I'm going to break it down to you like this. If although, because, when, since, or while comes at the beginning of the sentence, you're going to need a comma. Right? If it comes in the middle of the sentence, you're good. So look, although, at the beginning, while, in the middle. You don't need one. Some people make pottery while they listen to music. You don't need a, a comma there, right? But when you have that subordinating conjunction at the beginning, you're going to need, right? Because it, what you end up doing is creating a dependent clause. It's dependent on something else. Since she took a pottery class last summer, yes, thank you. Who said that? Comma. She has made cute animals. Are you seeing this? Here's another one. Oh, I'll have you do four and five on your own, okay? I think you can handle it. All right? Let's take a look at the rest of this stuff. Down here it says you're going to write a talent that you have. Start your sentence with although, because, when, since, or while. You pick one of those, right? So you're starting with one. You're starting with an independent or a dependent um, with one of those. Compiche? All right. Let's look at number seven. Use a comma between the date and the year. Oh my gosh, we do this all the time, right? The day and the year. January 1st, right? The day is, is the first, comma, 1857. September 26th, comma, and then the year. I started school on August 24th, 2005. So that's going to be right here. You ready? Here's the day. I put the day, comma, and then the year. You need a comma between the day and the year. You guys got it? Yeah. This is pretty easy stuff. You can handle that. All right? You guys got that? So you're practicing writing the year down, putting a comma between the day and the year. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I screencasted this. I will post it so you can revisit this because I'm going to have you work on it today in class. All right. Did I